Hey, what's up everyone? Kurtzin here with some more battles. I have a bit of a spicier team with Florantis in the lead, uh, Skarmory and Sableye. I've been noticing not very many people running Sableye anymore, so I figured I'd give it a try. Florantis is good coverage for all those lanterns out there. Uh, the superpower is good for the normal types and Bastiodons, stuff like that. And then Skarmory has just always been really solid. Good against grass, good against fighters. Um, it actually beats most other flyers, as you'll see here, going up against Pelipper. And I get the I get both shields and take Pelipper out. Let's see what comes in back. Registeel. Now for Registeel, um, I've got the Lorantis with superpower and Sableye does quite good in that matchup as well. So I farm up the chair, shield. They focus blast me, which I thought was interesting because Zap Cannon might have made this more difficult to beat. But I'm able to get to the back-to-back -back superpowers, taking out the Registeel, swap right away into uh, my Sableye because I was to take out the debuff, take the foul play, build up to the return, this is going to do a massive chunk of damage. That lands. Now they're going to throw. And then I've, I think, actually, yeah, I'm able to reach foul play here. And that'll take out this crafty. Good game. Then in this next matchup, um, Grantis and Discarmory. Very bad lead for me right off the start. So I switch into my own Skarmory. And this is always, I've, I've been, I've used to play Skarmory um, with Swampert and Sableye, and quite often I would bait, or I would just go Sky Attacks and not shield myself, because quite often they don't go for a Brave Bird. Farming up, going for another Sky Attack. Oh, they caught onto the wall ring. Farm it up to another sky attack here. Send that. I think this is the one that I lost. I went four and one with this team and just put it together just to see what it would do. And it was actually quite a bit of fun to run. And I think I decided to let this go. No, I shielded it. And farm up to another. Oh no, yeah, I don't get to the sky attack. That's where I was like, oh, I should have just let it go in the first place. Because now, oh, I just get off the sky attack. Nice. Sky attack. They shield that. So that's good that I get the last shield. And then I'd come in with Lorantis. They bring in um, Surfetched. And I was just a bit late going for the superpower there. So shield up the Night Slash. Farm up a little bit more. Go for the superpower. Almost back to back superpowers. Lands, does a huge amount of damage. Farm down. And then they come back in with their own Skarmory. They've got, oh yeah, the, yeah. Cause they got the Brave Bird loaded, that's what it was. It's the Brave Bird me. Then I'm able to get the foul play off. Which will take out the Skarmory. And then they've still got the Walreen in the back. And they get to farm me down. Which will put them out an Icicle Sphere, I believe. Yeah, and they win the CMP. I should have just gone for the Leaf Blade, but I think I was clicking on the superpower there. So that was a good game for my opponent. Well played. Into the next battle. And Laterantis into Trevenant. 
kind of a mixed lead. I'm doing super effective with the furry cutters, but I can't really hit them hard with any of my charge moves. So I fire them off a bunch, go for a leaf blade, see if the shield does. I let it go, so I switch into my Skarmory. And they're at, what did I do here? Seed Bomb, yes. So I called the Seed Bomb. And then an Zoom Roll comes in. And I'm building up lots of energy, get to the almost two Sky Attacks. Throw the first one here, doesn't do all that much. They're at, I believe, a Ice Beam. Let that go. The nice thing with Skarmory and the skill, Steel Typing is that even the Ice Attacks don't do a lot of damage to it. Got another Sky Attack here. Gets the Shield. And now I believe, I just let this one go again. Let them take out my Skarmory. And then Lorantis can come in and Leaf Blade. To Leaf Blade and take them out. You can see how fast Lorantis charges too. It really generates a lot of energy very quickly. Get the shield and we already got another Leaf Blade, which I believe takes out the zoom roll. And yeah, it takes it out. Then they've got a dragon uh, Altaria in the back. And Sable I should be able to take care of that with a couple of foul plays. They try to catch onto the Trepanant. So I shield up. And then I see about that is it actually allowed me a little bit more farm as well. So now I'm out of almost two foul plays. I think I shield this guy, this one, or yeah, I shield this one. Build up a little bit more. I'm over two foul plays. First one will do a good chunk, and I believe the second one takes out the Altaria. Yeah, the next one should take it out. That's a good game there. Sable is a lot of fun to play with. It's very strong and uh, can take a good amount of damage. So fast Jadon into my Lorantis. Farm up a bunch of energy. Alright, I saw another creator um, showcasing Lorantis and fast Jadon, and they baited the first time. I think they used Leaf Blade like three times and the Bastion didn't shield. So I figured I'd try baiting, get the shield. So I'll shield. Flamethrower. Farm a bunch more. Out of superpower now. And that lands, does a huge amount of damage. And I get to another, another Leaf Blade. Lorantis is just so fast. Leaf Blade lands, just about takes him out. They switch at the same time into Metacham. This is a good matchup for, for Sableye. Don't need to shield anything. Ice Punch comes in. Barely does anything. Up to two foul plays now. Firing off the first one. Does a chunk of damage. Let that, this move go through. And it's another ice punch. Gets me low, farm down. And they just concede the match. Good game to my opponent. 
Lurantis into Umbreon. This is again, you're starting to see some more Umbreons coming in uh, because of the nerf to Charm and less Charmers in the matches now. And Lurantis beats uh, Umbreon easily. So they switch into their own Trevenant. I bring in Skarmory. Let this one go through. And they actually go for the Shadow Ball. It's a big chunk. I think at this point I'm like, I'll just shield and farm down. Because I kind of mistapped. So I was like, well, I might as well just farm right down. Have a bunch of energy. See what they bring in. They bring back in the Umbreon. And at this point, you think they might shield because they know I could have a Brave Bird, so they shield. And I do the Sky Attack, and I'm able to get to a Brave Bird still. So, lots of energy. Gets both shields, and now I can bring in Lorantis again. And I've already got almost two superpowers loaded. Fire off the first one. And this does a nice amount of damage. Connects. I couldn't quite get the next one off. I think I shield this up. They throw a psychic. Hit the superpower. They should take out the Umbreon. Not quite. So I swap into my Sableye. I'll be able to take this move. I go for another Psychic. Does nothing. <laughs> Shadow Claw down. Zoom roll comes in, and I'm able to go for the return. And that does about half health. And I think they play rough me here. But I still got a fairly healthy Lorantis in the back. And they've just used all their energy, so I'll get to a Leaf Blade before they get to a move. Get to the Leaf Blade, and I should take out the Zoom Roll. That's a good game. Thanks for watching. That was a fun 4 1 set. Uh, might not work the best to climb up the ranks, but it did get me um, up to 19. Finishing that set. So I collect my prize. And uh, I moved through to 20 this morning on my, on my journey to try to beat Veteran. Uh, that's as high as I've gotten. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. Leave a like, subscribe. Have a good day.